All right. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What are we even up to? You know what? I got, I got notes for this shit. Uh, I got, uh, rubium, rycogen, and insulating gel. What do I need for insulating gel? Oh, jeez. My, my base is, my, my inventory is so full. Okay, so, insulating gel requires spadonium. If I'm not mistaken, I have some amount of spadonium. I don't have much, though. All right, well, let's call in the freighter. God, that's such a cool thing, though. Being able to call it in. I kind of wish it wasn't, like, weirdly transparent that it is. Okay, uh, where, what, who, how, oof. Sudden bout of nausea. Very confusing. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, the other thing to look for is potentially getting a new, um... A new freighter at some point, but I'll mess with that later. Let's see. Do I play any MMORPGs? Um... I actually play a lot of MMOs, or I have played a lot of MMOs. I don't play many... Um, right now. Part of... Part of it is, for me, I don't have time for MMOs, and that always kind of sucks. Um, let's see, I was kind of hoping somebody would roll in. Um, because I really do like MMOs to some degree, but I find them very time-consuming, and it's a bit of a problem. Uh, I've been playing a lot of World of Warcraft Legion, and technically I have a series on it with a lot of backlog that I really need to put up the footage for, but I really kind of don't want to go, I shall is Shell is frowning at me. We'll play tomorrow. I'll see if he's around. Anyway, um... Uh, but yeah, I, I've been playing a lot of that. Okay, what? Oh, right, Spidonium. Was there anything else like, uh, Cory Zagan that I can move over? Not really. Then again, I haven't really been moving over stuff like Cory Zagan. Because I don't want to. Uh... Also got, like, Gek Charms and shit, but I don't really care about that. Anyway, um... But yeah, so... I, I've played a lot of MMOs. I played World of Warcraft for years. Still do, kind of, sort of. Uh, played a lot of Guild Wars 1, a lot of Guild Wars 2. Um, but ultimately, uh, I just don't have time for MMOs, and that always kind of super sucks. Because I do enjoy them, it's just they're massive time sinks and I don't have time for it. Hey, we do have Rubium. I also have a ton of Gravitino balls. Alright, hold on. Let's start shuffling things around. Because I got some stuff I can deal with. Hopefully I can... just grab some of these things. Because, yeah, we got all this Rubium. I don't think I need any more of... more Rubium. I'm glad I, I harvested all of this. Let's see. Candesium, Fervidium. Thamium. Oh, shit. In retrospect, what I could do... Let's do something different. No, I don't want to do this. Originally, I was considering actually, um, just... Scrapping... Oh. I could scrap these and just put them down whenever I feel like it. That'd work. Why do I have Thamium here? Oh, right. That was just a uh, test container for the time being. Really want to be able to trade from Freighter, too. Let's see. Haven't seen No Man's Sky in a while. How did they update it? They added a lot of base management, which I really appreciate. It's done a lot to make the game feel better, but it hasn't really done a... Uh... They haven't done a particularly good job at addressing previous concerns, and I'm kind of hoping they get back to working on that. I think it's part of it uh, is... They might not have been working on it because they're being investigated for false advertising. And that could have been a problem. I don't really know. Uh, I really don't, but... It's also kind of one of those where I'm just... I still enjoy playing it because it's the only game where you can really fly around and explore. Um, in this manner. At least in my opinion. There's probably other... That was actually kind of cool looking. Um... Oh, right. We're gonna get mods. I... Maybe we should, uh, take a... Maybe we should take a short break at some point and just toss on a bunch of mods for this game. Probably not. The mods probably don't matter that much. Anyway. 
What did you need? Insulating gel. Which is... Spadonium. Oh, wait. I grabbed Spadonium, yes? So we might actually be able to make the insulating gel. There we go. Okay, so we can actually get these. Uh, let's see. Do they have all this stuff in the original games, like base making and freighters? Nope! Base making and freighters did not exist in, um, early... Wait, what? I have it! Oh. Uh, they did not have this stuff in the base game, which was nice. That they've added it. I, I, I do like the base building and it looks... It looks good. I just hope they have another one of these expansions very soon. Okay, so... Oh! We have the ability to sell stuff now. So I can make a trade terminal. Um, Circuit board, six voltaic cells. Holy crap. And... Ha, 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 ha. That's expensive. I was hoping to make some of these, and that looks like it's going to be a little bit harder. I need ten circuit boards, which means I need ten of... Uh... <laughs> wow! Holy crap, that's, um... It's a little bit more than I bargained for. And I need six voltaic cells. We need a dumb amount of antrium. Okay, somebody else needed rubium here. You know, I really should actually get rid of these. What did you need? Need. Okay, he needed the rubium. And we need Rygogen for the last guy. Okay, so here's your rubium. Okay, here are the blueprints for my formula for explosives. More stable now, but dangerous. Yeah, so explosive charge, render inert until needed, safer transport and handling. Interesting, I don't really know what to think about that. Anyway, what do you guys need next? So the scientist is useless now. Wow. All that's left is farming and trade. Uh, which means... I actually don't know what his next task is. We're done. Well, almost. Huh. I've actually... Okay. So apart from making some of this stuff, which is going to take a long time, because I can't even buy the, these materials, we are actually done with every quest except for... for farming. Alright, well let's go find some Rygogen, I guess. Um... yeah. Question. The plants are probably done growing. They might not be, actually. I'll double check. Oh, right. I forgot. Selling stuff from my base is actually, like, stupid easy. All I have to do is walk through the teleporter. I don't even need to fly up. Uh, assuming I can find the teleporter. Here we go. Wow. Why am I getting so nauseous? I don't know. But yeah, should you get No Man's Sky? Is, does this look fun? Because ultimately, no, no one should get any game. Uh, unless it, like, really, really speaks, speaks to them. Personally, I enjoy it, but... Can I recommend it to people? I don't know. What the f- Alright. Well, let's get over here. So... What we need to do is- Right. What we need to do is find a, uh, a water planet that doesn't suck. And then I'm probably just gonna spend a lot of time hanging out and doing some things. Okay, so we don't care about you guys. Let's deal with the trade terminal. Sell items. So yeah, we need to find Rygogen. I could go out of my way to make the Galactic Trade Terminal and some of the other stuff, but... I just... After a certain point, it seems like kind of a chore more than anything else. Okay, uh... So we want to sell 
pretty much any of these. Mordite I can sell. Anything I can farm, I can sell freely. I'm just gonna sell the Gek Charms and the Sack Venoms. Because we have no use for them. Uh, if anything, I could actually sell most of that. Okay. Freighter... Do you transfer again? Oh, right. Freighter's gotta be in system for me to transfer... Transfer to it. Gotcha! Well, luckily my... My inventory is cleared out at least a little bit. We can go from here. So, Emerald's a problem if we want to make the, uh, the trade terminals. Ideally, I'd like to make two. One for my freighter, one for my base. Now that... Planet does not look like it's got a single ounce of. It's got Cory Zagan on it. Or is again Cory Zagan? I don't know. Um. Got for Vidium. I mean, what do we? What do we even need here? We need more Antrium, but we can get that anywhere. So that's good. We need a lot of Rygogen. We need- oh no. If I'm supposed to make 10 of these, I need at least 200 Rygogen. Plus. Wow. That is... stupid grindy. Because, yeah, I'd, I'd like to ideally have two Galactic Trade Terminals. One on my base and one on my freighter. Um, just so I can sell stuff whenever I want. But it's not super necessary. Um... I guess let's just find the Rygogen. Go from there. I have no idea if this planet has what I'm looking for. Because, yeah, I can always find stuff like Vividium and other stuff around. It's just, I'm not sure. The one problem is I'm lo uh, the one problem I'm looking at here is once we finish the uh, farm quest, what do we do? I I like this game. I like I like um, you know what the foundation update brings. Um, but apart from flying, well, I guess flying around the galaxy and finding a good way a a good planet to be put a base up on. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So what we're gonna do is fly fly from uh, system to system looking for good things. Um, that actually, like, don't suck. And hopefully we can find some Rygogen while we go through in here. Looks like we're out of luck on this planet. Looks dry as a bone. Alright. Uh, let's see, do we have any more planets? Oh, hey, I can even see them. Alright, so Korzagin... Emerald, Nickel. Okay, and Temerium. Yeah, most of these resources I can get elsewhere, though. Okay. I guess I'll go on to the next, um... Hmm. Let's go into free mode for a second. I can kind of keep this line. It'd be really nice if I could look for, like, specifically have a, uh, star directory. So we're looking for red, red stars. If I remember right. That should be within range. Hyperdrive has no fuel. Damn it. Alright, can I, can I bookmark it in some way? Add a waypoint. Okay, there we go. That should be really easy to get to, and I forgot that I can leave waypoints on these things. Alright, uh, let's see. Do I actually have any warp cells? No. I can make them. I need more Thamium. Huh. I'll get my hands on some more. We've got a, we've got a billion. Okay. Anyway, path towards waypoint. Luckily, everything's pretty much just on the way. Sadly, I can't go to green or blue stars yet, which I really want to.
But I don't have the, uh... I don't have the thing for it yet. Okay. Probably should have seen how many planets there were here. That one looks aquatic. Might be exactly what we're going for. It's got Spidonium and Rubium. Who knows? We might be in luck here. Alright, let's take a look at you. Oh, it's got a moon. Candesium and Rubium. Alright, that's two. I spotted at least another planet around here. Any luck? No, I'm gonna have to rescan it. Well, that's unfortunate. I'll have to check out the local freighters too. For Vidium and Rubium. It's like Rubium's pretty dang common around here. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Slowly rebuild our stock for a second. Yeah, I want to land on this planet here. Just want to go around for a bit. Because I want to see what's on the other planet. Because if I can get on the other planet... Uh, or if I can see what's on the other planet... Uh, this might actually... Assuming this... This system doesn't... Suck... Super hard... This might actually be a much better spot to set down on. Spidonium and Rubium looks like they're pretty dang common. I don't know. We'll think about it. Let's see how beautiful this planet is. Because I bet we can find emerald almost everywhere. I don't know. That looks interesting, whatever the heck that is. I don't think I've... Is that a... Is that a... It's a weird base. A weird place. Okay, I'll check this out. Let's see. I'm aware Rygogen doesn't show up on planet scans. Dead waste. Interesting. Yes, I am. Uh, I am aware that Rygogen does not show up on on planetary scans. This looks sweet. I don't think I've ever uh, seen a planet like this, or not a planet, a base, like a half submerged base. There we go. Now you're not going to shoot me in the face. Encyclopedia. It's a GEC system. Eh, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Alright. Analyze the data log. What do you got for me? Please be something new and interesting. And shield boost. Well, I don't mind shield boost. We did get kind of messed up. Uh, a little while back. Okay. So sadly, I don't see any Rygogen around here. But that's okay. So I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna run into. Okay. So we get this taken care of. Get that, get that. Alright. I will have to say, don't really appreciate... Okay, it's cold. Barely cold, though. So that's good. Okay. So we're gonna have to, um... We're gonna have to get around. But yet... Yeah, it looks like... I don't think I'm going to use this planet as a home base. We'll have to... We'll have to see what the water looks like. Ideally, I still would like to get a, uh, a planet that is kind of a beachfront property. Eh. This looks promising for... maybe Rygogen? But yeah, I know Rygogen doesn't show up. The thing about Rygogen is it's almost always on water planets. Uh, so it actually looks like we're it, we're in luck here. Okay. What else do we got around here? Lots of it. There we go. I don't know why, when I'm playing, um, underwater sections in games, I actually feel like holding my breath and stuff. It's weird. Okay, 
I don't really like that. I also really wish you could snorkel in this game. Kind of weird that you can't. I really also wish that there is some way of increasing your underwater speed. Because this is kind of goofy. And takes forever. At least we'll be able to get the, uh, the necessary Rygogen. Okay, I think I'm just gonna climb on top of this thing for a second. This way I don't have to worry about much. Oh yeah, I forgot, it's, uh, we're kind of in luck- Ooh, wow, this is a weird thing. Uh, we're kind of in luck here. Cause the, uh, it's not that cold. And the water, specifically, is not cold in the slightest. Means... I can just... Hop in the water whenever I'm freezing, so we can just alternate between land and sea. Unfortunately, uh, land doesn't seem to have a whole lot of interesting things on it. So, it's unfortunate. Mass Effect Andromeda is human player only. I'm disappointed about that. It makes sense, because it's easier to write having a human only player, but I'm kind of disappointed because I find in most situations humans are kind of the lowest common denominator race. They're just boring. Uh, and that always kind of sucks. What's a, what's a good example of a game where you can play as like a cool race? I don't know. I just want to play as a Krogan. Just have a nice Krogan romp through the universe. Just punch people in the face, be super, super tanky. That'd be fun. I'd like that. No Krogan for Wanderbot. Really should get to uh, playing the Mass Effect games in preparation for an Andromeda. The problem is, like, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll ever have the time for something like that, which kind of sucks. Okay. So we got kind of lucky on this this planet, this jump. Getting me all this Rygogen. So I think what I'll do... Woo, hi? Looks like we do have some kind of... I'm betting they're Gravitino orbs or something. Okay. Or an albumin pearl or a venom sack. Or no, it's it's aquaspheres. Okay, there we go. Never played the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. No, I wanted to. It seems like it would be fun, but I never got around to it. Let's see. There are playable Krogan in that, and they're badass. Ah. Okay. Wait, there's a hot storm on a cold planet with water. That is weird. So we got aquaspheres in here. Aquaspheres... Uh, are aquaspheres at all useful for anything? I kind of forget if we need them for anything along the way. Because... I don't really need, um... I don't really need anything but Rygogen right now. I mean, we got other resources that I need to farm. And some of those I think I even can, um... Some of those I think I can even put the, uh... The, like, plants down and, and farm them. I really should look up, uh, what resources are farmable and what aren't. As far as the things that I desperately need are. Okay, let's go back up. Maybe I'll even go to the surface. We are a little bit low on the, um... ...on the life support. And oxygen. And we might as well find, like, a, at least a little bit of... We might as well find at least a little bit of, uh... ...inventory sp slots while we're here. Because I think these aquaspheres are kind of bank gonna bankrupt me. Probably good, good uh, money if I really... Felt like spending the time for it, but still not as good as Dynamic Resonator cheese. So I'm probably not going to do that either. Well, whatever. Let's see, this planet's, uh, planet's atmosphere should have a whole bunch of storms then. 
Yeah, sadly, the storms in this game aren't visually apparent. Like, the weather in this game desperately needs an overhaul. Because as it stands, it's kind of just like, well, it's raining, and you're like, okay. And there's no, like, nothing visual about it apart from, like, And it always just feels kind of lame to me. Okay, so I got several aquaspheres. Got rubium. How much rygogen do I have? 208. That's a hell of a lot more than I had the last time. All right. Let's see. So we could put down a beacon, but I don't feel like putting down a beacon. Um, Autonomous mining unit. Not that interesting. Signal booster. We'll do this. Let's see what we can find. I'm always curious about the ships that are flying in formation on these planets. There's never really been much of a... There's never been much of a reason for me to do anything with them, though, which kind of sucks. Okay. So we grab these two and then we'll continue on. What time is it? Oh, wow. It's already midnight. Okay. Uh, Z... Pick that back up. Oh right, I forgot. I can I can paint my uh my base. Problem is, apart from farming, there's like zero reason for me to even bother painting my base. So that's four minutes off. That's like a minute away. Let's go with this one. My mic stand has been loose lately, which is concerning. Okay. Yeah, we're close. Close enough, at least. Yeah, my problem at this point is I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with No Man's Sky. I mean, really, what I think I'm going to do is just make a, um, an, a massive farm. More than anything else. And just fill it with album and pearl farms. Something that... Uh-oh. Let's see. I thought this was supposed to be a dead wasteland. I don't get it. Alright, anyway. I'm gonna grab what Antrium we can. Do we have more? A little bit. Luckily, Antrium is, like, stupid common, so... I don't need to worry too much about f finding more. Suspension fluid? I wish you could find some of the more, like, rare resources in here. But no dice. Okay, uh, where to park my ship? All the way up there. Oh. Nope. That's not more Antrium. Yeah, because I'm, I'm gonna need a... ton of... Eh. I'm gonna need a ton of inventory space if we do this. Okay, right. Farming. Farming planning. On a fuel launch thruster. Um... Like, I'm gonna need a ton of money for things, and making an auto farm that just generates me nothing but, like, albumin pearls? Seems like it would be a good idea. Because apart from, like, apart from that, we really don't have any goals right now, apart from grab every single tech drop we can and wait for the next expansion. Which is kind of a crappy situation to be in for a game. I was really hoping the Foundation's update would actually give me a little bit more to do. And it kind of just is a... It's kind of just a, a stopgap. It's something to do for a little while. And, I mean, admittedly, I've spent, what, 20, 30 episodes on this? Oh, wait, it saves me and the ship, doesn't it? Yep. Saves every time I get in and out of a ship, or... Yeah, pretty much that, actually. Uh, whenever I use a beacon uh, at any kind of facility, that also works. Uh, but, yeah. Like... The problem is I spent, like, 40-something episodes, I think, exploring the the galaxy previously, and apart from not making it to the center, I really didn't, uh, feel like it failed to accomplish what I wanted to, just, like, what I set out to do there. Um, and so, it's, like, right now the idea of exploration is just like, well, 
I guess just make a stupid amount of warp cells and just go as far as I can. This is not a bad idea. But I think this is probably going to be one of those where the series just ends, eh, probably within the next 10-15 episodes. And then I come back later when they update the game some more. Or when some really cool mod comes out. Though I really should sit down and, uh... Too high to initiate landing. What is this garbage? No, don't land. Don't land. Where are we? What are we doing? Landing area not clear. Stop! Bah! Bah! bah. What? The how? To it of a high. Okay, this is really strange. The thing I hate about the landing area not... Fuck. I'm trying to turn around and it's like liter it's forcing me that I missed my low flight flying mod. The landing area is quite clear, thank you very much. You're just dumb. Okay, go forward. Go forward. Don't go up, go forward. Go forward, 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 forward. There we go. Close enough. I The hell is this thing? It's got like dumb little butterfly wings. Wow. This planet is mind bogglingly dumb. As usual, really, honestly. I don't know. I'm not exactly a huge fan of the. Ooh, what's this nonsense? Probably like for Vidium or something. Ah, Spidonium. We actually needed Spidonium. Rather badly. I forgot I was looking for this stuff. Okay. What is that thing? It's got the, like, the stupidest, sassiest walk. Earlier, these guys actually moved, kind of, according to their biology. As weird as that sounds, like, if it's weird and, like, off-kilter looking, it should really walk weird and off-kilter, even to the point where it barely can even move. What the devil are you? Wow, look at this thing. I don't even know if it has eyes. It's just a giant walking, like, faceplate. Okay. They're all just making noise around me. 